stay in control of your health. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a doctor of acupuncture with the Acupuncture and Herbal Medicine Clinic. I'd like to share a health tip today that's basically how to kind of engender a positive mental focus. You know, what do you focus on mentally? Because I think, uh, you know, I, I practice Tai Chi and, the, and this traditional Chinese medicine that I practice with acupuncture and all. We have a saying, where you focus your mind, that's where your energy goes. So what do you focus your mind on? And is it mostly kind of like a positive focus? Or is there a lot of negative stuff going on that could be very unbalancing to your health? So let's get into this. You know, I, I always like to talk to my patients about self-care practices. I think it's very helpful that we have some rituals, some practices that we do on a daily basis to keep us on a good path. And uh, one thing to realize, I, I feel, we all have a purpose in life, right? It's important to have a purpose. I know go, going through this crazy time with COVID-19, um, I closed down the clinic for a few months. My purpose had changed and shifted. I kind of felt funny about that. I mean, I started watching way too much TV and uh, the news and, um, I don't know, playing video games and stuff, that, things that I just haven't done since, you know, because I, I, I had more of a, a focus on my work and such. <clears throat> so when that was going on, I said, oh, I've got to change this up, you know. It just wasn't going in the right direction. So what is your purpose, right? I think we all have a purpose, and it's individual and unique and different, okay? What is it? Well, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. It should be something that makes you happy. I, so what I call a, you know, it's, it's your happy path in life, okay? Your purpose is one of happiness. And so if you're involved with things throughout your day and most of your day is aggravating and you're not happy, then I would say you're not on your happy path. You're not really focused on your purpose and how you can really contribute to the world, if you will, to your families, your family and friends and your work and, and the things that you, you love and do and care for. So your purpose is one that is a happy one something that makes you happy okay so when you're going through your day and you have some problem that comes along and it uh there's resistance you feel stuck you feel stressed okay you you have to approach it and say okay is this part of my path is this part of my purpose and it may be a problem that you need to solve and elevate yourself to a higher level Okay, and you try to work through that and you educate yourself and you get back on it. It helps you with your purpose, maybe it advances you more in life and, you know, it brings more joy to your life. Okay, that would be a good thing to focus on. You have to solve the puzzle of what that problem is. And sometimes that is the focus of that resistance. But sometimes, you know, in life, we have things we can control and things we can't control. And the things we can't control, oftentimes we get stuck trying to figure out how to fix it, how to change it. And what I would say is that actually the answer is probably letting it go. There's things like forgiveness, things like letting go. Sometimes there's a transformation, you know, the caterpillar into the butterfly thing. Sometimes you, you've been living life with tools to, to work through life as a caterpillar, and now you're transforming and becoming something else. And now you have to use different tools. But you stay stuck because you're trying to work like a caterpillar, and you really need to be flying like a butterfly. <laughs> okay? And so transformation. Sometimes we're going through a transformation. And uh, sometimes we just have to let go, right? Let go of the caterpillar way of life and you know move into a new kind of thinking so letting go is important you know there's that concept of out of the ashes rises the fiery phoenix right there's a transformation something ends and there's a new beginning okay one door closes another door opens we've heard of these things before right this helps to shift you into a positive outlook right 
The glass is half empty. The glass is half full. How do you look at it? I mean, if, if you look at it as half empty, that's a sad life, right? But if you can look at it as half full, it's just a moment. It's just a change in your perspective. That's all. And all of a sudden, now you're kind of looking at things in a positive way. And, you know, it's not the glass's fault in how you look at it, right? Don't blame the glass. Look at how you can look at it and change your thinking. So part of it is trying to figure out what your purpose is. You know, I, I'm a father of two beautiful, bright girls. I wasn't a father 13 years ago. You know, so my purpose had shifted and changed. So that is part of my purpose. And in my days, that's what I think about. And I, I focus on that. And that's what makes me happy. And when I get off that path, I'm, I'm not happy. I have resistance. I feel stuck. So I try to realize and, and recall and have rituals and practices that I do every day to stay on my happy path, focus on my purpose, and develop that. And it makes me happy. It creates a vibration. You know, that it's a happy vibration within my body. And it has a lot to do with how healthy a person can be. You know, when you have purpose, you become driven and you have direction, you have purpose. That, that's a wonderful thing. When you don't have purpose, you get misguided, you get lost, you can uh, get stuck in the dark and uh, it becomes lonely, it becomes difficult and challenging. So we need to identify the purpose, realize it's one of happiness. When things aren't happy and going well, we need to shift and change. Um, and, and try to design our day and be responsible for our mindset and our thoughts and whether they're positive or negative. Okay. I had a patient that would always say, um, he had an out, uh, an outgoing voicemail when I would leave messages, he would always end his outgoing voicemail with keep on the sunny side. <laughs> and I love that. I love that because it's a positive message in a short sweet little um, saying in a few words, you know, keep on the sunny side. And that's what we need to do. We need to remind ourselves, am I filling my day with positiveness? Because it's going to help our body function well, health-wise. You know, this is my whole purpose in doing these videos is to help people take control of their health in a natural way, right? So, you know, I, I'd like to point out, too, the medicine that I practice is traditional Chinese medicine, and I like, I've like i practiced Tai Chi over the years. And uh, from the Far East, there is this practice of meditation that we don't tend to have in Western culture. There's a lot of reasons for practicing meditation, but one I would point out is for health and to organize your mind, focus your mind. You know, you could have a house that's cluttered, and it's difficult to work in. It's the same with the mind. You have a lot of cluttered thoughts. The mind's all over the place. We need to focus it. There's things that we can focus on. You know, there, there's a saying too. I believe this is a Japanese expression, but if you're going to be, if you're going to generate a thought, you need to be responsible enough to resolve it. In other words, uh, you know, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? and I'm not sure, and I'm stuck in a pattern of worrying and wondering, that's just burning up my energy. But once I realize, oh yeah, I'm going to have that, uh, I'm going to make some chicken, whatever, I feel satisfied and see it's resolved, it's come full circle. And you want to have a lot of that in your life. You know, feeling like you've accomplished things, coming full circle, not always being stuck, wondering and worrying. And, and that's going to prevent us from wasting a lot of energy on thoughts that go nowhere. You know, if you got to solve stuff, maybe you got to get it out of your head, write it down, make it a project to work on over time, spend some hours on it, but don't spend your whole day letting it just kind of buzz around in your head aimlessly uh, without resolution. Okay. So I hope this helps you. Uh, it's important to focus our mind in a positive way on things. Design your day. If there's things that are coming at you that are negative, assess them. See if that's part of your purpose and your happy path. And if not, let them go. Try to fill your day with positive stuff. 
that's going to vibrate in your body, help your body function well. You know, when we're kind of all upset and stressed out and agitated and anxious, the heart's racing, the breathing's constricted. You know, our body posture gets um, twisted and tight and aches and pains on and on, can't eat, can't sleep. We don't want that. We want happiness. We want to feel settled, satisfied, accomplished, moving forward, okay, not stuck. I hope this makes sense. Um, if you like this video, please like and share. Um, leave comments if you have questions. I'd love to answer them. And uh, look for more. I'm going to be putting out more videos on topics that will help you stay in control of your health and take control of your health in a natural way. So I will leave you and see you next time. Keep on the sunny side.